10 Best Picks Presents the Top 10 Best Mini Projectors Starting at number 10. Alephas W90. The Alephas W90 is one of the best mini projectors under $100. We're aware that Alephas isn't as well known as the other brands on the market. This is why it's surprising to see the device exceed other brands in terms of quality and versatility. At its best quality, the Alephas W90 can project a 120-inch image. You can increase it up to 236 inches if needed, but the image clarity will be reduced when you extend the projection. Despite the small size and budget price, this projector can do almost everything. You can play games on a console, watch your favorite series by attaching a streaming stick or mirror content from your laptop. Its LED lamp can deliver up to 5,000 lumens of brightness and has a 3,001 contrast ratio. These features help to ensure clear and sharp media with high color accuracy. This device is fitted with an upgraded cooling system and built-in speakers. An external speaker can also be connected to the Mini Projector's 3.5mm audio input for louder audio. The one downside of the Alephas W90 is that it lacks an internal battery. You'll have to plug it into a power source to use it. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At Number 9. Humpo Mini Projector. The Humpo Mini Projector is one of the best mini projectors on Amazon. It works well with smartphones, but can also be used with other devices, including Humpo's Mini Projector 1 Amazon's Choice Badge, due to its higher sales volume and a 4.5 star rating. The device has a 1080p HD display and has a 3001 contrast ratio. In fact, its higher resolution is one of the best features, with multiple customers loving the large TV video quality. Keep in mind that the movie projector doesn't display copyrighted content. This means that you cannot watch Hulu, Amazon Prime, or Netflix on it. The lamp lifetime is 50,000 hours, which is impressive considering the small size. The device also has HomePow's upgraded noise reduction tech that allows you to concentrate on your video. Furthermore, you get a 50 to 176 inch HD screen, making it suitable for watching movies or playing games. The keystone correction feature enhances the projection quality further. Number 8 of my list. ViewSonic PX701 HD. ViewSonic's website touts the PX701 HD as ideal for both home and office, but it's better thought of as a home entertainment projector that can also serve for presentations a statement that's true for almost any home projector. In truth, it's a close match to the Benk TH585, which Benk calls a home entertainment model. Like the TH585, the PX701 HD offers native 1080p resolution, a low lag time for snap responses in games, a picture mode that brightens the dark areas in game scenes to reveal hidden dangers, and another for watching movies that delivers more dramatic-looking dark scenes and better contrast. It even offers the same 3500 lumen brightness rating. It's an able full HD projector choice. Built around a single 1920 by 1200 DLP chip, the projector uses only 1920 by 1080 pixels on the chip to limit its native resolution to 1080p. Its high brightness rating is due in part to its RBGCYW color wheel. The white segment lets more light reach the lens than in a projector that lacks one, making the image better able to stand up to ambient light. Unfortunately, it also tends to hurt color accuracy. The cyan and yellow panels help mitigate that tendency by improving accuracy for some colors. But note that DLP projectors designed for viewing in a dark room, such as the Benk HT 2150ST, use color wheels without white panels, precisely because the design focuses more on color accuracy than brightness. The onboard 10-watt speaker delivers usable if slightly tinny sound at sufficient volume to fill a medium-size family room. If you want truly immersive sound, however, plan on using an external sound system. Aimed at homes and offices alike, ViewSonic's PX701 HD needs minor color accuracy tweaking with movies and video. Even so, this nimble projector delivers sufficient brightness for a large image that can stand up to ambient light, plus low lag for gamers. 
Coming at number 7. ViewSonic X10 4K. The ViewSonic X10 4K is an impressively small 4K UHD short throw projector. Like its predecessor, the ViewSonic X10 4K and the LG SignBeam HU70LA, this convenient device offers HDR10 support, a solid state light source, and a fairly light weight, though at 9 pounds, it's more luggable than portable. Niceties such as a reliable autofocus make it as easy to set up as a TV. Most importantly, it delivers decent color accuracy, contrast, and shadow detail straight out of the box. Like most DLP 4K projectors, the X10 4K uses TZXPR fast switch pixel shifting to get 3840 by 2160 pixels on screen from a 1080p chip. It pairs the chip with a red-green-blue-blue blue LED light source, adding the second blue diode for higher brightness and to help improve color accuracy. Setup is simple. Point the projector at your screen, plug in the power cord, and connect to a video source. The short throw lens has no optical zoom, so you have to move the projector to adjust image size, but the autofocus works well enough that you don't have to fiddle with it. The X10 4K measures 6. 5 by 10. 3 by 10. 7 inches, which gives it room on the back for all the connectors you're ever likely to need, including two HDMI 2. Zero ports for video sources and PCs and one USB-C port for PCs and mobile devices. There's also an Ethernet port for wired network connection and a bundled Wi-Fi dongle to connect wirelessly to your network for streaming or connect directly to PCs and mobile devices for screen mirroring. The ViewSonic X10 4KE delivers 4K UHD resolution, HDR, and built-in streaming, plus an excellent audio system. It's semi-portable, call it luggable, and its LED light source will last for years. At number 6, Bose 700. While the Sony WH-1000XM4 are our favorite pair of full-sized wireless cans overall, Bose steps in for calls with its noise-canceling headphones 700, which we'll just call the Bose 700 from here on out. These are ideal for the individual who switches between tunes and talk often. In testing, we found that the microphone on Bose 700 consistently matched, and sometimes outclassed, the one built into the phone. Get ready for productive calls as those on the other end won't have to devote precious brainpower deciphering garbled dialogue. Perfect for business users, the Bose 700 boasts excellent noise cancellation, which helps those noisy rides in a car or airplane. They don't measure up to the aforementioned Sony pair in that regard, but they come very close, and the rich audio performance helps drown out anything that might otherwise penetrate the soundstage. Although its overall design offers less ergonomic flexibility compared to the company's highly refined QuietComfort 2 model, Bose's signature comfort is in full force here thanks to soft padding for the cups and headband and good weight distribution. The Bose 700's controls are convenient, with three tactile buttons combining with a touch interface to give you one-touch access to volume and playback functions. One of those buttons allows you to adjust the noise cancelling intensity on a scale from 0 to 10 or outright disable the feature altogether. There's also a button dedicated to calling up your favorite virtual assistant. The Bose noise cancelling headphones 700 have the power to go as long as 20 hours when noise cancellation is engaged and that runtime doubles to 40 hours with it off. Even if you're an unusually heavy listener, a 15-minute charge with the included USB-C cable can get you two extra hours, so you should never feel the need to stay tethered. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Optoma GT1080 HDR. Optoma's GT1080 HDR is a noticeable step up from entry-level 1080p home projectors like the Benk TH585 and the ViewSonic PX701 HD in terms of price, performance, and features. It delivers good color accuracy straight out of the box, high contrast and deep blacks for its brightness level, a fast lag time for gaming, and sufficient brightness, rated at 3800 ANSI lumens, for a big image, to stand up to ambient light. In addition, it can produce that big image from close to the screen, thanks to a short throw lens that makes it a top choice for use in small rooms. The Optoma also supports 4K UHD input, which it downconverts to its native 1080p. 
All of this makes it an impressive projector for the price. The GT1080 HDR is built around a 1920 by 1080 DLP chip and a six-segment RYGCWB color wheel. The white panel is partly responsible for the projector's high brightness, letting more light through than an otherwise identical wheel without a white segment would allow. The cyan and yellow panels help compensate for the loss in color accuracy that the white panel causes. In my tests, they did a notably good job of maintaining more than acceptable color in most preset color modes. Like any gaming projector, the GT1080 HDR does swimmingly on key features most gamers care about, particularly input lag. Using a Leo Bodner input lag meter, I measured it at 16. 4 milliseconds at 1080p 60Hz with the enhanced gaming mode on, which is consistent with its rated 8. 4 milliseconds at 1080p 120Hz and fast enough even for serious gamers. And although the GT1080 HDR doesn't come with a carrying case, it's small and light enough to make it easy to carry from room to room, or to a friend's house, or to stash away, when you're not using it. Designed for gaming and movie watching in ambient light, Optoma's GT1080 HDR delivers low lag time, solid color accuracy, and sharp contrast for the money. Plus, its short throw lens optimizes rooms where space is tight. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Bank TH-685. The Bank TH-685 is one of a growing number of 1080p projectors that can accept 4K HDR input, downconvert the image to show at 1080p resolution, keep the HDR, and deliver a bright, highly watchable picture. Like other projectors in this category, including the Optoma GT1080 HDR and Optoma HD39 HDR, it supports HDR10, found on UHD Blu-ray discs and other recorded material. Unlike many, it also supports HLG, the emerging standard for broadcast TV. For both HDR and SDR content, it delivers good color accuracy and contrast, especially given its relatively low price. And at a rated 3,500 lumens, it's easily bright enough to deliver a satisfyingly big picture in ambient light. The color wheel's white segment lets it deliver a brighter image than you would get from an otherwise identical projector without one. However, it also affects color accuracy, which is why color wheels in projectors meant for traditional home theater in a dark room such as the Bank HT2150 ST don't include white panels. The yellow and cyan segments help correct for that, with the yellow segment helping deliver brighter, more vibrant yellows than many DLP projectors can manage. At 6, 2 pounds and 4 by 12 by 9 inches, the TH-685 is easy to handle for setup. The digital image shift and 1. 3x zoom lens also add flexibility for positioning. And if you need to tilt the projector up or down even after adjusting the shift, you can square off the image with the plus 30 degree vertical keystone control. The Bank TH-685 is a solid 1080p choice for gaming or for viewing movies or video, even in a room with ambient light. The package of good color accuracy and contrast, fast input lag, high brightness, and support for HLG and 4K input is especially appealing at this affordable price. At number 3. Bank HT2150 Saint Bank lists the HT2150 ST on its website as a home theater projector, but hides one of its secret powers. It's the only model of that kind that Bank also highlights as having a low input lag for gaming. And, indeed, serious gamers will appreciate, not just a low lag, for its advantage in games that depend on reaction time, but some of its other features too. That said, the HT2150 ST offers a lot, even if you're not interested in gaming at all. In particular, its color accuracy, contrast, and black levels are excellent for the $799 price, which also makes it a good choice strictly for watching movies and TV. The HT2150 ST is first and foremost a home theater projector meant for use in a dark room or in low light situations. It's built around a single DLP chip and a six segment RGB RGB color wheel, a choice that yields lower brightness but better color accuracy than wheels that include a white panel. 
Its rating of 2200 ANSI lumens for its brightest predefined picture mode can boost brightness when you need it to stand up to ambient light, but as with almost any projector, the lower brightness modes deliver better color accuracy. The most obvious feature strictly for gaming is the fast lag time, which I measured at 16. 4 milliseconds in both game and game modes. The other key feature is the second game mode itself. Bank says the first is for low levels of ambient light, while the second is for higher light levels. But arguably the more important difference is that, by brightening up the darker areas of the image, the bright version makes it easier to see anything hiding in the shadows even at low light levels. That may let you spot items of interest in a game, or targets to attack or defend against, a little faster. Banks HT 2150 ST does swimmingly for both gaming and home theater. Its minimal lag gives gamers an important reaction time edge, while solid color accuracy, contrast, and black levels excel for viewing in a dark room. Coming at number 2. Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro. As the high-end model in Anchor's Nebula line of entertainment projectors, the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro packs good brightness for a mini projector and a powerful sound system. Bulkier and with a shorter battery life than the Anchor Nebula Apollo, it's not as easily portable as that editor's choice model, but the Mars 2 Pro is brighter and has a higher native resolution, plus a more powerful sound system. It earns its own editor's choice as an entertainment mini projector. At 5. 4x4. 8x7 inches and weighing 3. 9 pounds, the Mars 2 Pro is larger and heavier than other entertainment projectors we have reviewed recently. Tub-like, with a matte black top and steely gray sides, it has a cloth strap to lug it around. It looks rather like a handbasket I found myself thinking of it as Darth Vader's lunchbox. This is a higher brightness than any of the entertainment projectors we have recently reviewed, and it produces a relatively large usable image. While the 300 lumen Acer C250i portable projector can throw a usable image up to 60 inches in a dark room, the Mars 2 Pro's maximum usable size proved to be about 80 inches and about 48 inches with the introduction of ambient light. The entertainment-oriented Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro has good brightness, resolution, and image quality for a mini projector, and it doubles as a Bluetooth sound system. It's best for home use, as it isn't as portable as some of its peers. And number 1. Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12. The Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12 Smart Streaming Laser Projector is a more refined version of the Epson F100. It has a higher resolution, at 1080p, and lower brightness, at 1000 lumens. Both are smaller than typical for laser projectors, both are designed for streaming, and neither supports 3D. But the EF12 offers integrated Android TV, instead of a bundled dongle, adds support for 4K UHD input for downconverting, and adds HDR support for both HDR10 and HLG. Color accuracy is excellent, and the stereo speakers are impressive for the size. Overall, the Epic Vision Mini EF12 has a polished feel, and it's impressive enough to earn an editor's choice nod for streaming projectors. One of the advantages lasers have over lamps is that most are meant to last the life of the projector, eliminating the cost of replacement lamps. The EF12's light source is rated at 20,000 hours of projecting at full power. It's paired with a 3-chip LCD design, which ensures that you won't see any rainbow artifacts, and that color images will be as bright as you would expect from the lumen rating, which isn't always true for single-chip projectors. All this is packed into a matte black near cube that measures just 5. 3 by 6. 9 by 6. 9 inches and weighs only 4. 7 pounds. You can easily move it from room to room. Or install it permanently, including in a ceiling mount. There's no zoom, so you need to move the projector to adjust image size. In my tests, the distance from the screen for a 90-inch diagonal image was 6 feet, 2 inches. Beyond that, physical setup is limited strictly to connecting cables. The EF12 Auto focused in my tests every time I moved it even a little, consistently delivering sharp focus. You can also adjust a focus manually, but I was never able to do better than the Auto feature. The Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12 is a smart TV masquerading as a portable projector. Its small form manages to contain a long-lived laser light source, Android TV, Google Play Store apps and games, and even good audio.
For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.